The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. And look who we have reading with us today. Can I read with you too? Well, sure. How about me? Can I read with you too? Of course. This is a book you probably haven't read for a long, long time. Sit back and enjoy. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. The Very Hungry Caterpillar. And this is something that many of you enjoy is that dedication page. And this one says, for my sister, Krista. Who might you dedicate a book to? Let's read. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and... Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. He must be a growing caterpillar. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. I think I would too. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. Got something healthy in his stomach. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. I think he's ready to make a change. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. Thanks for reading the story with me. How have you changed as you grow and change? What are the things that, that change about you? Sometimes we change with our bodies. And the caterpillar makes a huge change going from the egg and turning into the larva and the pupa and then the, uh, building the cocoon or chrysalis and turning into a butterfly. How do we change? Have a good day.